10 is the time a Coptic bishop tried to take a shrimp from the grill at a church fundraiser on the expansive lawn of the Diocese of Melbourne HQ and he swore till his pancreas succumbed to adenosquamous carcinomas that it said wait I am not yet sufficiently tender at nine is the time a young boy serving as a squire to a knight who claimed to be descended from Sir Galahad saw in his shield while polishing it on the ninth hour of the ninth day of the ninth month of the ninth crusade a cup of pure gold reflected in its old weathered face radiating splendour at eight is the time a Russian painter, sometime after the February Revolution, succumbing to paraplegia, set out to paint a domovoy, watching a merchant's wife sleeping. And he discovered with his last stroke that he had no idea with whom he identified most, her or the beast. At seven is the time a wolf, lost at sea for seven long months after the storms broke and waves came down upon the low coast in ways they'd not before and haven't since, managed to swim back to her pack and teach them the difference between south and north. Though she never grasped the concept of a need for east or west. At six is the time a sati a, not to be confused with the, made a plea to the governor of the Tamil Nadu branch of the East India Company that went all the way up to the governor general in Bengal and he put a stop to the whole self-immolation thing a day too late. At five it has to be the time as Portuguese conquistador lost his bearings and his llamas searching for the Kula Suyu hoping they would help him locate El Dorado or Tuvalu or his marbles or his llamas he walked the Atacama sands in circles till his curly hair grew straight at four is that weekend in Bath August 1894 when thousands of jellyfish fell from the skies of Somerset no more than a shilling piece each and one lady pushing a pram all across the royal crescent ran right into a ha-ha though unhurt she never mentioned it in jest at number three with a bullet because you must have heard of it is the time a Jewish merchant lost a pound of flesh in Venice running from angry creditors jumping crates and cutting corners, falling into a canal, he commandeered a gondolier who later wed him. She was that impressed. At two is the time a man was two-timing these two twin sisters. It's a win-win situation, he'd say to anyone who would listen. But he'd no notion of the vagaries of double-crossed Moroccan ladies and the tricks they turned against him in the end made him swear he'd never turn one again. But after all, the best is still the time. A tyrant with a quill decided to define the world in terms that only he could learn. So, in the rarest mollusk's ink, he etched out shapes and named them words and told all his slaves they couldn't sing but instead must start compiling excuses for the funny ways of men.